Let us look at an example of demand forecasting using the weighted moving average method. A department store has found that in a four month period, the best forecast is derived by using 40% of the actual sales for the most recent month, 30% of two months ago, 20% of 3 months ago and 10% of 4 months ago. Find out the forecast for the 5th month if the actual sales for the 4 months is given to us. So in the first month the actual sales is 100 units. In the second month the actual sales is 90 units. In the third month the actual sales is 105 units while in the fourth month the actual sales is 95 units. So now we have to find out the forecasted sales for the fifth month. Now here we'll use the weighted moving average method. Now we have been given that the last month or the most recent month which is the fourth month will have 40% weightage. The third month will have 30% weightage the second month will have 20% weightage while the first month will have 10% weightage. So let's now find the forecast. So forecast will be equal to, so we have to take 40% of the fourth month sales. So 0 0.4 multiplied by 95 plus we have to take 30% of the third month sales so 0 0.3 multiplied by 105 plus we have to take 20% of the second month sale so 0 0.2 multiplied by 90 plus 10% of the first month sales so 0 0.1 multiplied by 100 now here one more validation is that the total of the weights should be equal to 1 so 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3 is 0 0.7 plus 0 0.2 is 0 0.9 and plus 0 0.1 is 1. So this becomes 0 0.4 multiplied by 95 plus 0 0.3 multiplied by 105 plus 0 0.2 multiplied by 90 plus 0 0.1 multiplied by 100. So 97.5, so the forecasted demand for fifth month is 97.5 units. Now suppose the actual sales for the fifth month turns out to be 110 units. Now let's find out the forecast for the sixth month. So this was forecast for the fifth month. Now forecast for the sixth month. Now in this case, we'll take 40% of the last month, which is the fifth month. So 0 0.4 multiplied by 110 plus 0 0.3 multiplied by 95 plus 0 0.2 multiplied by 105 plus 0 0.1 multiplied by 90. So this becomes 0 0.4 multiplied by 110 plus 0 0.3 multiplied by 95 plus 0 0.2 multiplied by 105 plus 0 0.1 multiplied by 90. So 102.5 so the forecast for the sixth month based on the weighted moving average is 102.5 units.